So how are we doing guys and welcome it's Kraken here back in seven days to die alpha 19.1 and we're back in the dummies guide day 22 we did survive the horde last night so now the important bit we said we were going to do it and we are going to do it as you can see everything is on default so we are actually now going to go from adventurer up to nomad and zombie day speed from walk up to jog okay everything else stays completely on default right let's get cracking right so we are back at home that's what i did last night after the horde i rode back to our humble abode down here which i actually want to grab some stone and i want to put the land claim block back over here because i'd feel a little bit safer if we had that over here. So let's quickly build that. I put on the helmet as well. So we now have that with the extra mods in it. So we're down to two now. So we put a triple storage in there would be quite nice. Or if we get the cargo pockets. Which can hold two rather than these ones holding the one. And that's got a double as well. So two triples would do it. All the cargo pockets would do it. And things will be hunky-dory. Right. Land claim block. Uh, the more central we can put this, the better. So that will stop any zombie spawning down here. Um, need to put that stone back. We did find in the mine, if you haven't checked out yesterday's video, go and check it out. We did find the lead um, uh, ba -ba 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 and we found potassium nitrate as well and coal, which is over here. And actually, we may as well, no, a bit higher, we may as well use that and make ourselves some gunpowder. As it's sat here with not a lot to do. There we go. Yeah, that one there. Mix, 523. There we go, it's going to take seven minutes. One more for good luck. There we go, may as well make the gunpowder. There's no point in just sitting in our inventory not doing a lot. And it is Trader Restock Day. So I've grabbed my things here. Things like this, where 544, I'll sell that when I can put some mods into it. We're going to repair that. That I'll probably just sell. We'll use a repair kit on it anyway. But there's not many mods you can get for that. Right, let's get to the trader. So back at the trader. Now, our game stage, when we checked it during the horde was at 60 and I imagine it didn't go up again we're now at 63 so by putting the difficulty up it has upped our game stage just a little bit which does all help right vending machine one more skull crushers we'll buy that super cool will be there telling me to buy the peas for the gumbo stew but I'm happy with the food that we've got at the moment I've got the best selection of medicine in the wasteland. Right, we've got a job off you. Right. That we're just going to sell because we can't increase the money of that. And the steel knuckle parts. Right, so these ones here, that one will sell. It's tier really four, five, and six. Really the five and six is worth putting the extra stuff into. Right. What have you got for sale? You've got plenty of cement. Hopefully you've got a cement mixer. Hopefully. Right, so here we go. So we've actually got a couple of things here. So we can buy the serrated blade and we can buy the wood splitter mod. These ones are not worth putting on, but those two, just over 300 dukes each. What else have we got here? Iron shovel, another wood splitter mod, a grave digger mod. Okay, let's buy that. 
needle and thread. Or we can actually make the plaster cast. We all, we've got the book open. We'll have to look at that rather than using the splints. That could help us out. No, nothing else there. Right, so let's just... Thanks for the business. Have a quick we'll look. Right. Dawn to dusk, since Mortify you. you so you're pots. 544. Let's put you to 1,000. 1,400. There we go. So putting them two in has really helped. This one here. Mortify 544. Put you to 1,000. So we're making an extra 200 or so on those. So well worth doing. We're just going to sell that one. There we go. Over 20,000 dukes. But unfortunately, I haven't sorted out my loadout yet. Every time you reload the game in, you need to sort this out. Which is a bit of a pain. But she, unfortunately, you come back and see me doesn't sometime. really have anything there for us. We do need a drink. There we go. Now, we're going to go down the road and go and do graces. That is the first place that we're going to go and check out on day 22. Right, here we go. What's going on with my bike? Oh, it's just rolling down the hill. Graces. Now, here, we're going to do the double loot, just for the main loot. So, we're going to knock our way into here. Because we can get to the main loot without too much problems at all. I don't think we've even got to kill any zombie. No double dead zombies already. Right. Lucky looter goggles on. I am reinforced chest. Okay, so we are starting to see some steel bits and bobs here. We're going to scrap both of those for the parts, though, because they'll be worth more as parts. Pistol parts. Weapons bag. Serrated blades. We can put that into the next thing we need to sell. Steroid. Some leg armor there. Okay, that'll be worth a little bit. And some more ammo and gubbins here. Now, Grace is down here. Is it worth killing her for the meat? Because we want to keep on making those steak and chips. Where are you, Grace? There you are. Well, that didn't go to plan at all, did it? She managed to jump over that and... We shot her so much, she disintegrated, so we ended up with no bloody meat after all that. Right, let's get this started. Now, the force just occurred to me. I went to go and do the old double loot there, but I don't actually have a quest here. It's just a POI that I actually really wanted to go through. So, that was actually more just to show you than anything else. So, you know you can go down there and just try not to kill race like I did oh okay, so it scares the scares the crap out of me right carve you up plenty of opportunity in here for food Level 6 blunderbuss. Bloody hell, we haven't seen one of those in a little while. Right, there we go. Um, now, will an arrow to the head kill you? 
No. Okay. Just seeing if there's a better way so they've got more health. See, the machine gun left far took too much health off you. Right, now you we might be able to kill through the bars. So let's do you again. How many are you going to take? Turning you into a porcupine here. Bloody hell. So we're doing very well for meat. We're already over 100. We haven't put any points into anything to do with the harvest and the huntsman that we looked at in the last episode. So will be nice when we can go through this again. Hello, you. Now, it might take a little bit of adjustment to get used to their jog speed. Even though it's not much faster, it does take a little bit of getting used to when you do start changing the speeds. Another 26 meat from that. Sounds like we got a wandering horde outside, so we might have to take care of them in a second. Right, let's go and take care of these guys, because they're going to just... They are going to make it through at some point. Oh, we got a airdrop out there as well. Saw the plane, it was over here. Let's see where the airdrop was coming down though, right. He took three hits. You only took one. A few more jukes. Right, the rest of the horde have wandered off. Where did we come out? Here we go. Alright, we've killed all of you around here. Get them backpack. Splint. Oh yeah, that was it. Plaster cast. So if that takes cornmeal, crushed sand, murky water, well, we're, we're definitely going to be making those. We've got all of that. So splints are going to be a thing of the past. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. We've got a feral as well. Oh, we're no head. Ooh, we got ourselves a nice little knife there. Scrap you, scrap you. Take, make sure we keep the murky water. Because we need to make some plaster casts. Chemistry station in here. Destroyed. Cowboy boots. Uh, there's a window I meant to go out of. Ah, here we go. Oh, pigs. Yeah, this is the way. The way to Amarillo. Ooh, treasure map. Now, treasure maps are really good. We're close to our house. Where is that? Put it. Let's have a quick look on the map. So, just past our horde base. Perfect. Well, we're definitely going to be going and doing that at some point. Get a good amount of jukes from that. Oh, we've got two more. Fiddly winks in here. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Right, we'll jump in there in two seconds. Right, 
Let's make sure we can get... Okay, now which is going to be the best way to get to you? That pig, we can't really get to. So, probably a complete waste of ammo. Make sure our gun's reloaded, though. Now, we can definitely get to these two and get back out. Now, this is the kind of thing, this cage was what I was thinking about putting above our horde base, um, not our home base. So the zombies, if they we hear them up there, oh, causing a bit of a ruckus, we could jump, jump into that, sort them out, and they're getting back out. So that might be, might be an idea. Now this place has lots of resources as well, so we're going to take advantage of that and start digging some of this up. Now she came out of nowhere. Now there's still loads of people beating the shit out of this building, so I can't really tell which zombie is which. All oh, right, there you go. There's Loza. Looks like they're just beating their way through the bloody walls here. Well, that's next to me. Right. Well, we've got a little bit of time for you. Let's quickly dig you up. Oh, we got. A race, see who can get through faster. Well, both at the same time, both ferals as well. So it's definitely made it a bit more difficult. Right, there's the super corn, or the first bit of super corn. So we'll be going back through there in a second. What is going on down here? Oh my god. Let them come up bit by bit. We've got a load more resources here I want to take. The sooner I can get this cement mixer, the bloody better, I tell you. I right, squired the spider. No, it didn't. Jesus. You were just plain dead. Right, well over a thousand cement already and we've actually got two skill points so i want to put another point into lucky looter which means perception there we go lucky looter there we go hopefully that should help us out right let's get this super corn Why, why can I not hear you? It's because I had to punch you. So you just hit through everything. Oh, no, no, I don't want to be hitting Bill with super corn. Super corn you can eat straight off the bat. Um, and it gives you a bit of health and a bit of food. Um, apart from that, it's pretty much useless. You can make glue with it. I don't know why. Oh, my. Oh, I was... I thought I'd cut myself on the glass then. Come on, get yourself free. There we go. You need a drink though. Have we got any drink or some murky water? I've got a load more resources down here. We've got more people coming from outside. What is going on? Tell the game stage is certainly getting up there. Are you repaired? Give you a helping hand. Oh, 
Right. Jesus. Another destroy chemistry station here. A bit of cornmeal that'll help us out with our plaster casts. Right, let's carry on doing some more digging. Absolutely loads of resources in this place. We just need that cement mixer now. Hopefully one of the traders will sell it to us. Or we'll find it as a schematic. We haven't been lucky so far with the old schematic for the cement mixer. Hidden in every nook and cranny of this place. As you can see, the zombies are taking a lot more hits now to die than they were doing, so their hit points have been increased. Alright, we've got a few more drinks here for us. A bit more coffee. Right, good stuff. Right, let's have a quick pit stop. Here we go, we're over 2,000 cement now. Which is very, very nice. Downstairs. Destroyed cement mixer. Oh, I was hoping for the schematic. Right. More resources, more super corn. Now, it's been a while since I've been through here. And I've forgotten how many good resources and how many workbenches and things like that. You've got a good chance of finding the schematics. In the workbenches, of course, some steel as well, right. Those, I'll probably just blow myself up. Oh, we can't actually scrap those. Okay, we've got a hidden working stiff over here. Okay, we're going to scrap that wire tool. Going to need that shortly, right. Not through there. Oh, here we go, hidden door. Lots of dead parts of people. And more resources. Well, I know we can knock all these up for bones and potassium nitrate, but now we've got our garden and the rotten flesh, we don't we don't need too much of that at all. This is where Grace would have been down there. Obviously, we've already killed her and didn't get the meat, which is annoying because even though she's green, she does give you normal meat. And then obviously up here. All the way up to the final loot, which we did at the beginning. But there you go. That is Grace's. Wow, well, I was not expecting that to take the whole day at all. So that's what I'm thinking of maybe doing here, because the zombies don't seem to we don't seem to be attracting them of a night time. But if we start calling in some screamer hordes when we start doing more when we start doing more smelting and things like that, I'm thinking about maybe making a kind of frame around here with a clear way down, maybe knocking this out with a real proper clear way down to us. Uh, we might be able to sort the screamers out. The only way that won't work... Oh, I've done it again. Uh, no, we'll take them. I give you the skull crushers. Take the first nine. There you go. So the only way that won't work is if they see the dirt as less hit blocks and trying to come through to us. If that is the case, then that will cause some problems for us. Right, I'm just going to sort out all of the stuff down here. We've actually completely run out of time for today. We've got a few things to sell on. In fact, I'll put those mods... 
Uh, we've got the gold nuggets, silver nuggets. We're going to be selling that. I'll put the mod in there ready for the next thing we're going to sell. We're going to sell that, definitely. Stumbleton pilots we're definitely going to be selling, and we're going to be selling that as well. So I'm just going to sort out my inventory, and that's all we've got time for today, guys. We've got loads of meat after going through there. I think we're doing pretty well for potatoes. Yep, we make ourselves some more food. And tomorrow we're going to go out and check out some more of the traders. We're going to go and certainly start doing some more quests. On the map, if I quickly check it out, we've got a tier 3 to go to do down here. So we'll do that. We might do the treasure map on the way. Go and see this trader. We've got a tier 2 as well to do over there. And maybe we'll come down and check out this town down here we'll see how we're doing for time so that's all we've got time for today guys as always a big thumbs up on the video if you've enjoyed it put any comments down below what did you think of graces and we'll catch you guys in the next episode take it easy guys see you later